Embedding a YouTube video to your website and making it autoplay is a great way to add some spark to your WordPress website. But there are some details that you must pay attention to to make it work. We'll also walk through different advanced options like removing the YouTube logo, preventing your competitors from showing uh, related videos in the end of your video, how to loop it of course, and also how to limit the use of marketing cookies from YouTube. I will show you how to autoplay YouTube videos in popular page builders like Divi, Elementor, Gutenberg and the classic editor. I'm Victor from Divimundo.com and I'm ready to get started. You'll find all the resources needed in this blog post on Divimundo.com and if you are watching this directly on YouTube you'll find the link in the description below the video. So the result we're looking for is this. I've embedded um, a YouTube video that autoplays by default in my post. Let's start by choosing the video that we want to embed. And uh, you can basically embed any YouTube video. It doesn't have to be on your own YouTube channel. But as a YouTube creator, you can disable the possibility for others to embed your video. So if someone uh, has ticked that checkbox, uh, you will not be able to uh, embed it. But by default, you are free to embed any video on your website. So I'm going to use my WordPress for Beginners course and use that as a case in this tutorial. So I'll start by clicking that video. Title to embed the, the video, I'll date. start by clicking the share button also below the, the video. Image. Now here. I get this little pop-up and the uh, theme builder. let's click the, the first option, Embed. Sidebar. Now I get another pop-up here with some iframe code and you have some options here. You can choose to start at another point than the first second, but if you leave that unchecked it will start from the beginning. You can hide the play controls and you can enable privacy enhanced mode, but we'll look into those and several other advanced options later in this video, so you can leave them as is. To copy this code you can just click copy and now it's ready to be pasted on our website. So I'll head over to my test site and I've created a blank Divi page here. So to embed a YouTube video in Divi and autoplay it, you should add a code module. So I'll search for code. So you should not add the video module because that one, here we have it, will not let you autoplay the video. So choose the code module. And I'll simply paste the YouTube generated embed code here. And now the YouTube video is embedded on my website. And if you're working with Elementor or any of the other page builders, the workflow is uh, similar. So if you are using Elementor, just go for the HTML element and uh, drag that. So you should not use the video element or the code highlight or the short code. You should use the HTML element and just paste the code in there. You will have a little warning, but uh, there's nothing wrong with the code. There is uh, an obsolete validation for the code in Elementor. So you can just ignore that. And if you're using Gutenberg, the default block editor in uh, WordPress, you should add a block called custom HTML. So you should not use the code block that I tried first. That was by my intuitive choice, but that will display code as text in front end and we don't want that. So just add a custom HTML block and uh, paste the code in there and you will see the video. And last and maybe least, we have the good old classic editor. And to paste the YouTube embed code there, just make sure that you have uh, selected the text tab and not the visual tab. So the text tab lets you paste clean HTML code. So paste it in there and just click publish and you can see it in front end. Okay, so back to our test site. Now this embedded video will not autoplay, so that's our next step. Okay, to do that we need to add a little something after the URL for the video. So the URL starts with a TTPS and ends with a video ID. And after that we have a last quotation mark. So between the video URL and the quotation mark, there we go, you should add a question mark and we type auto play equals one. And then 
we add an ampersand, shift six, the and sign, and WooCommerce and is the I official e-commerce plugin. Mute equals one, and that's it. So just to highlight the text that I've added, it's question mark autoplay equals one and or ampersand mute equals one so this means that autoplay should have the value one which in code language is yes or enabled and mute should be equal to one the video should be muted and the reason for this is that browsers like chrome and firefox and safari and such they will block or stop your autoplaying videos if it has sound enabled so that's why we must mute it. And this is to ensure a good user experience because it's very annoying when you enter a page and it starts playing video with sound. This lets the user activate or enable the, the audio. So I'll save here and let's save the page and let's preview it in front end to see if the auto play works. And here we see that the YouTube video actually starts playing by itself. So the auto play works. Now there are a long list of tweaks we can do here. We can make it loop. We can uh, remove related videos from competitors in the end. We can remove the YouTube logo down here. We can enable uh, privacy enhanced mode to prevent YouTube from uh, storing uh, marketing cookies on our visitors devices. And we can also hide the different controls here, the play button, etc. if we would like to make it a bit more minimalistic. Let's look into the more advanced options for your autoplaying embedded YouTube video. And uh, the first option is to add a loop. So the video will just keep on playing and playing again and again. And uh, this is a tiny bit complicated because one would think that it would be enough to add just loop equals one as a parameter, but it isn't enough. You also need to add playlist equals and then your video ID as an additional parameter. So I will show you. We can copy this little iframe snippet here and go back to the page. And let's remove the old iframe and paste the new one. So if we take a close look to the code here, we can see that we have the video URL just as before. And we have the question mark and the autoplay equals one. We have mute equals one. So that means that it will autoplay. And we have the ampersand and then loop equals one. So then we have added the loop effect. But for this one to work, we have to also have the ampersand playlist equals, and then you just add the video ID. So that's the same thing that you can see in the end of this video URL. Starts with an eight and ends with an M in my case. You will have a unique video ID, of course, that you have to add. So you should have the same video ID here in your URL as you have in the playlist here. And then you end it with the uh, quotation mark. So let's try it out and see if this actually works. I'll save. And I'll go to front end. Let's open it in a new tab and save some time. Okay, so it auto plays as it should. We see the mouse cursor is moving. And um, I will not force you to view all the six hours that this course actually is. So I will fast forward to the end. Let's see here. Just there. Oh, it starts from the beginning again. Maybe I was too quick. Let's see here. We go there. Let's see. We have. Yep, here's the ending. So make sure you look at the timeline now, the red line in the bottom. And let's see. Yep, it goes on from the beginning again. So the loop works. But you both need to add the parameter loop equals one and the parameter playlist equals your video ID. So the other advanced options are not as complicated. You only need to add one parameter to make them work. So number two here is hiding the controls on autoplaying your YouTube video. So if we hover here, we can see some controls here. We can um, replay and pause and uh, unmute and change the volume and stuff. And uh, let's remove those controls. So to do that, 
we have a little embed code here. You could paste that and just replace the video ID here with your video ID, but you could also do it manually, of course. And the thing that we're going to add here is after mute equals one, we have an ampersand controls equal zero. So one means yes, enabled, mute should be enabled, and the controls should be no, disabled, so that's the zero. So I'll copy this, and uh, let's go back to the page. And I will, yeah, so if I would like to keep the loop, I would just add, let's see here, we have the playlist there, yeah. So before the quotation mark, I'll just add an uh, and, because I want to add a new parameter. And we have controls equal zero. Let's try that. Save. And now I'll go to front end and I'll refresh. Sometimes you need to clear the cache for this to work. And now if I hover, there are no controls. I'm losing my little marker here, but well, never mind. So I'm hovering this and I see no controls except for the ones in the top and the YouTube logo. Okay, let's go to the next one. Remove some related videos from your autoplaying YouTube video. And actually, when you autoplay the YouTube video, it will not show related videos since uh, if you're looping it, if it plays again and again, but if you are autoplaying it without the loop, it will display a list of um, related videos in the end. And those videos could be from your competitors and you don't want to promote your competitors on your own website, right? So what we can do is to add a parameter called, let's see here in the code, rel from related equals zero. We don't want to display related videos. Now we need to mention something here. <clears throat> and I have a um, screenshot here from the YouTube policy saying that this parameter is changing after uh, September 25th. 2018. So before that, you could actually disable all related videos from being displayed after your video. But now you can only disable related videos from other channels than the one that the video is uh, embedded from. So if you embed a video from your own channel, you will only see related videos from your own ch channel in the end if you use this parameter. So I think this is a better option than showing your competitors related videos. Uh, but there are no way to actually hide all related videos unless you add the loop. So let's try this one by copying this code. And we'll go back to the page. And we go here and I'll just remove the old code here and paste the new one and if you are doing the same you can just replace this video ID here in the video URL with your own video ID and we can see that we have rel uh, equals zero so I'll save and I'll save the page and now I have removed the loop in this code so we can see how the related videos looks like we go back to front end and refresh the page and now if i go to the end of the video you can see related videos but you can also see that it's my face on all these videos there is no competitors there's no daryl wilson or no mac or no copperneck or whatever these guys are called so uh, this is a nice way to keep it clean and keep it in the family. Okay, the next option here is hiding the YouTube logo in your embedded video. To do that, you should add the parameter modest branding equals one. So I'll copy this snippet and I'll go to the page and I'll edit my code module. I'll remove the old code and I'll paste the new one. And you can see here that after mute equals one, I have an ampersand and modest branding equals one. And then the last quotation mark. Let's save. And uh, yeah, save the page. And we can just look 
uh, see how it looks now in front end. We can see the YouTube logo and also when the video is playing and I hover it, we see the YouTube logo down in the right corner. Now, if I refresh this page, the YouTube logo is actually gone here. And this is in accordance to the YouTube policy. This actually comes from their own guidelines, so you are free to do that. The next and final step is a little bit different because this is not about changing the look or the design of the video player. This is about embedding YouTube videos without cookies. And if you're into GDPR and um, privacy and integrity for your users, this could be a good option because if you embed a YouTube video to your website, YouTube will save cookies uh, on your user's device so they can use it for um, analytics and uh, marketing and stuff. To avoid that, you should change the URL, the domain in the URL from youtube.com to youtube-nocookie.com. And that will enable what they call privacy enhanced mode. So I will copy this and I will go to the editor, edit the code module. I will just delete the old iframe and paste the new text. And now you can see the URL is https colon slash slash www.youtube nocookie.com. And then everything is the same here. There's nothing else added and you can add any parameters you want here for loop or hiding the YouTube logo or whatever. And let's save. So you can see that the video is still playing and nothing else is changing. So the visitor will not see anything in front end differently, but there will be less or no cookies stored. A small disclaimer here, GDPR and privacy, these are complex matters. And I have linked to a blog post from a fellow Swede called uh, Per Axboom. And he written a pretty detailed blog post about what this means. And if it's really 100% sure that uh, you will not have any YouTube cookies for your users. And uh, spoiler alert, it's not. So if you want to be 100% sure, you should host the videos on your own server. And I have a post on how to do that with autoplay. Uh, or you can use a paid service like Vimeo, which is uh, maybe more privacy compatible. That's all for today. Feel free to like and comment this video if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials coming your way. Thanks for watching.